So that's the data deluge for the internet. Now we come to the data deluge for business. And uh, this is just the first part of that. It will be continued in the next uh, presentation. Here's an exciting example, because it's sort of different. It's, this comes from the IBM talk in the Berkeley Big Data Conference. It says that uh, company Vestas uses 2.5 petabytes of information to optimize the placement and the performance of its wind turbines. So this is sort of interesting. Even such a relatively seemingly straightforward thing of putting these relatively simple looking wind turbines up. There's a lot of clever processing can be done to look at the weather and to monitor the performance of these systems to get a much more efficient, cost effective uh, generation of power from these wind turbines. And here it says that uh, the data volume is expected to grow to six petabytes. Here's another very important example from the Dublin City Center. Which is an example of, again, of a, one example of the Internet of Things. Then the, we can imagine taxis, buses, and eventually all personal cars having sensors telling you everything about them. This allows you, and of course, we know that's sort of already true for things like UPS and FedEx trucks, each of that where the company can track the um, where the where the packages are and where the drivers are. And so this this will monitor the performance of um, of um, roads and where the traffic jams are. That's uh, Shanghai has already some time ago did that type of application, feeding data from taxis back into their supercomputer. And um, here and for Dublin, they, they give the example of 600 buses being monitored, and um, it is meant to help people know when their bus comes and encourage more people to take bus transportation because they'll have greater knowledge of where the status is of that transportation system at any time. Here's an example from a relatively simple thing, seemingly, which is to do automatic uh, processing of customer um, records produced by telephone calls. And uh, the claim is that they, they reduce the processing of data from 12 hours to one second and actually a substantially reduced hardware costs by in implementing a modern data analytics solution to analyze the so-called CDR or core data record processing. And the final example in this uh, section comes from General Electric. And it's another example of what I like, the Internet of Things, namely is we not only have people using the internet, we have all these things on the internet. And one of the things on the internet we already saw in the Dublin City Center example was uh, thing, vehicles with sensors. Well, an important uh, vehicle with a sensor is an aircraft. And um, aircraft can monitor its performance just as, in fact, um, cars can. Uh, another example of a, uh, which I read about recently was auto insurance, where adding tele telemetry monitoring to uh, the way people drive cars can find out people who are driving well and therefore could be maybe uh, get a reduced um, insurance rate, and that's a sort of an amusing thing to think of doing. Um, so anyway, if we come to this example from General Electric, <coughs> they point out that. Um, Whereas um, Twitter only has 80 gigabytes of data per day, if they look at their gas turbines, they produce 588 gigabytes of data per day. So these are the sensors monitoring the behavior of these engines. And there were ex early examples of this, and I assume this is what is, is also followed now. They had these sensors on the engines sending the data back to to um, processing houses, which are effectively clouds, those should run data analytics uh, programs on the sensor data and, uh, and allow you to uh, run various uh, sort of prediction programs to see when there was a problem possibly coming up. So that when that aircraft um, landed, the mechanics would know very well what to do to actually make the um, 
uh, engine and the aircraft run well in a safe, efficient fashion. Um, so here is uh, the final slide here, which is, comes from this uh, General Electric case. General Electric, of course, is a major US um, aircraft engine manufacturer, along with Pratt & Whitney. And uh, they have 3.6 million flight records per month. And um, clearly, this is an exciting application of the data deluge, where we have sophisticated analytics uh, on this on this sensor data. So we will continue this uh, with the next present with the next uh, section, which will happen to correspond to the next lesson, because you're all tired by now. Thank you very much. I'm Jeffrey Fox. Signing off for the day.